Hey, we're back at Hudson Yards, and this is David Kirsch, and we're in Honeycomb.fit, the place for everything health and wellness. Today's workout, kettlebell. Why not, right? People are going back outside. They're going back eventually to the gym. What's the one piece of equipment that's least used in all my years? I've got to say those kettlebells get very, very dusty. Um, and I, I think personally that kettlebells are uh, a very efficient and effective way to get your workout in, right? They're ergonomically correct. They just fit in your hands, right? They're less unwieldy than dumbbells. Right? I've got a pair of, they're almost 20 pounds. These are eight kilograms, right? So. Um, and, and look how small they are, right? The thing you focus on is your thrusting from your hips and your glutes. You're engaging your core. You're not bending your back. Your back is nice and straight. These are the things that are most important. The biggest mistake, the most common mistake, is when people are throwing everything all around. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're gonna end up hurting your back. You're not gonna get the full effect of this amazing, amazing series of exercises. I'm gonna do 10 exercises. Cover the entire body. I'm gonna do 10 repetitions per exercise. Now, I want you to look at the exercises. Many I'm sure you know. Watch the form. I'm a stickler on form. I'm an anchor in my heel, my glutes are gonna be engaged, my core is gonna be engaged. Of course, like everything else, mind and body always connected. It's a gorgeous day in New York, wherever you are. Get up, get moving. Let's do this. I'm gonna turn the music up because I need music. Is that loud enough? Is that good? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Uncle Joel and Bonnie and Susan. And I'm sure, Mom, you're on there. Anyone else on there? Sending you love, sending you peace, sending you good energy. All right, first up. Very calm, your kettlebell swing. Just look at how it fits in my hands, right? All right, I'm gonna anchor in my heels. I'm gonna reach down and I'm gonna use my hips. I'm gonna turn to the side, I want you to see this. My back is straight, my glutes and hips. And you're going up shoulder, shoulder height. The weight is not as important, guys. I've got four kilograms, they have lighter ones. Brandy and I are using the two or the three kilograms. Just get the feel of it and know that it's glutes, hips, core, and not your back. Never your back. All right. I love compound movements. I love them. All right, so, squatting. Right up. Driving the weight up. Mind and body, full body here, shoulders, core, 
upper back, glutes, everything is being engaged. And my heart rate is going up too. It's a great way to carve up your body, turn up the burn in the calories. Get your heart rate up. Very effective. Integrate this into a full workout. Lunge. You're gonna come right here. than I did last time. All right, get set. guys. Full body, shoulders, core, upper back, chest, butt. Okay. Holding in a goblet position. That's better. Holding in a goblet position. I'm going to do turkey lunges. Step it right back, get all set, and press it right up. Get set, please, and three, two. One. One. Halfway there. what's going on over there. I've got my half patch on, but check it out. 
core, shoulders, arms. I warmed up this morning. I had a couple off days, but I attacked the pull-up bar, and I did 100 pull-ups just to warm up. So, my body is definitely, definitely engaged. Here we go. I like this one, right? What do you think of my new clothes? 10,000. It's X, man. I love it, right? Alright, here we go. We're gonna pull the squat. And a little figure eight. What do you think about this? Working the core, working the arms, working the booty.
right, you got this one down. We're gonna dial it up a little bit. This is a little more advanced. I'd say for the first time you're doing it, I would lighten the weight. Or even do it body weight. Alright, so if I were doing body weight, I'd come down and right up. Here's my snatch. Power. Here we go. I need good, good, good snatch music. Let's see. All right, here we go. so adaptable that if you didn't want to do a full kettlebell workout, I would integrate it in as a superset. Maybe do a set of push-ups and then get up and do some one-arm snatches. Why not? Or some squats thrusting up to a shoulder press. Keep, the, keep your heart rate up, get your metabolism up, burn fat, burn calories, Efficient workouts, that's what this is about, right? The more efficient the workout, the more likely it is we'll start it and we'll complete it and we'll see results. All of the above, right? All right, so full disclosure, I did not make this exercise up. I found it in my research. Thank you, Google. It almost sounds like a Peggy Lee riff, right? Hold on. Bonnie, what do you think? All right, here we go. Wow.
halfway there. Exercises, moves, tweaks. This is just the basic overview. What you want to do, what you want to engage. Glutes, hips, not your back. Back is nice and tight. Core is engaged and tight. So every swing you take is all about this. My arms, my back, my shoulders, my butt feel engaged. Tonight, we're cooking desserts. Who likes desserts? 5.30 tonight on Honeycomb. Sound bites. Sound delicious bites in Kirsch's kitchen. I will see you later, guys. Be safe. Be kind. Get up and move your body. 